Two amazing meals, carbonara and ravioli. And with your tips, we've created something absolutely, well, it's magic. Right, explain to these people what is about to happen. We are gonna make one large raviolo with an incredible filling. You've dropped the eye. For that singular there? of ravioli. For that, we need homemade pasta. We're gonna make ours with two thirds double zero flour and one third fine semolina. Mix that and knead together with three whole eggs and two extra egg yolks plus a pinch of salt. And then knead it together for about five minutes till it's soft and elastic. Start with a fork. As soon as you've got a dough, get your hands involved. While Barry needs that, I'm going to start on the filling. Smoky pancetta, a great flavour in carbonara. We're going to fry ours off until it becomes crispy in a little bit of oil, then drain it on kitchen paper and blitz it up to a fine crumb. With your pasta dough kneaded, it now needs to rest up in the fridge. Best to do that wrapped in cling film. You right there? There we go. The filling for our raviolo is pork mince going into a bowl, along with grated parmesan, chopped up parsley, grated garlic and salt and pepper. Roll out your pasta as thin as you possibly can and then cut large squares about that, that size. Get it? and you want two of those per raviolo. Now for the magic bit. What you need to do is construct your filling. So start off with a pork ring, and then in the hole, a sprinkling of smoked bacon, a little dollop of cream cheese, a crack of black pepper, a whole egg yolk, a little bit more bacon, and then the lid stuck around the edges with egg wash. Be sparing the amount of pork you use, because we need this pork to cook all the way through, because it's not in the water for a very long time. Top it off with your second square of ravioli. Press down to seal, squeezing out excess air. And then cut it into a circle. That's what you're aiming for. One for a starter, two or three for a main course. While you make the rest, just store them on a tray lined with a little bit of semolina to stop them sticking. To cook your ravioli, stick it in rapidly boiling salted water for exactly four and a half minutes. Don't go too high or too low. Raviolo. Raviolo, whatever. Serve it on watercress with extra bacon crumb, mm. olive oil, black pepper, and a shaving of Parmesan. And after a minute or so, when your guests cut into that, they'll have an amazing self-sourcing raviolo. There we go, an incredible carbonara-style raviolo, sorted. That is incredible. And if you want more classic Italian dishes, just click on the eye up here, and we've done loads of them, so go check it out at Salty Food. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on the next Italian classic we do, or in fact any recipe, make sure you're subscribed. <laughs>